Hello and welcome to the Climbing Daily Friday Gear Show. Today we're going to be looking at the Black Diamond Session Approach Shoes. These are part of the new range of Black Diamonds Approach Shoes, which aim to excel at the crag, at the gym and even at the office. So what is an approach shoe? Well, it's a shoe that's designed to get you to where you're climbing. We've all had those sketchy walk-ins along paths and having something on your feet that's a bit more stable, more grippy, is safer and really useful. You can also use them like climbing shoes for when the terrain is easy. All right, so let's start off with a tech specs. It's currently on the Epic TV shop for around 93 euros and it comes in a range of sizes and colors. We've had the shoes for a couple of months now and have been wearing them in loads of different situations. We've both been wearing our street shoe size or trainer size and had no problem with the fit. This is a shoe with an eye on urban living and gym use. Unlike a lot of approach shoes which can look quite techy, this has a trainer style feel about it. It's a casual look that seems to work with different clothing choices. There's Black Diamond's own black label rubber on the sole with raised lugs for grip. This is very sticky and usually sticky rubber wears quickly, which if you're using it on the streets might mean your shoe's lifespan is short. However, Black Diamond's black label rubber is designed with this in mind and the compound is especially durable. These shoes have a slip-on shoe design thanks to a stretch fit heel for easy on and off transition so you can say goodbye to tying your shoelaces every time. Furthermore, the heel is very soft and folds down with ease for the slip-on functionality. This collapsible heel helps while moving around the crag. The rubber has been extended across the toe box, which provides protection to your shoes and toes. It's also handy for climbing when things get a little bit more technical. There's a loop in the material at the back, which enables you to clip the shoes onto a backpack when climbing. So let's say you approach the multi-pitch, change shoes to your climbing shoes, you can easily clip these to your bag and keep them safe and out the way. The shoes have been designed with comfort in mind. With the breathable knit upper that regulates the temperature and the integrated booty that wraps your foot like a sock. It has an EVA midsole. EVA stands for ethyl vinyl acetate, or also known just as foam. The midsole is part of the shoe that's sandwiched between the upper and the outsole that provides cushioning and rebound, and it helps protect the foot from feeling hard or sharp objects. Right, so that's the tech specs of that shoe, but we've been wearing it all summer, so what do you think? Well, I've been using it mainly outdoors, like to go to the crag and then on multi-pitches, scrambled a bit in them. First thing I noticed is the collapsible heel and just how easy it is to slip in and out of his shoes while peeling and or on a multi-pitch. They're so light to carry on the on your harness and then like change in between. The downside of the heel is that it is stretchy and when you start walking up more technical terrain, it just doesn't support your foot but I guess that's a trade-off. I agree with you. I think it's, I think the problem is they're not supportive, but mm. I don't think it's an approach shoe. Like, okay. I think this is an urban trainer approach shoe, okay? So I think it's the kind of thing that you, you get on your bike, you go to the climbing wall, you go to the pub, you can wear one shoe all day. It's a bit beefier than your trainer. And if you're one of those people who sort of, you know, you go out in like Converse's Nikes, but you're a yeah. climber, you want that climbing like pedigree, get a Black Diamond Session approach shoe, and then you've got like Black Diamond trainers, it's awesome. But how many types of shoes do you carry around? Do you like change from the office to the gym and then to the gym home? Yeah, no, that would be silly. But, but, but I know what you mean, because then maybe your approach you should be everything. But hang on, I, I've got like three pairs of mountaineering boots, for example. Like I think it's okay to have specialist equipment for specialist things. Yeah, I wouldn't wear this up like some kind of big scramble thing, but I would wear it in an urban environment and I'd have a different pair of shoes for that. Yeah, but then again, when you go to a crag and it's a new crag, you don't really know the approach most of the time. Like you need a shoe that still, you know, can take it. 
Yes, yeah. that, that is that is a good point. But, that, but look, okay, it's all set up to be that trainer thing. You've got yes. this knit that's breathable. You've got that flappy heel in the back. It's it's in. I mean, honestly, it's not offering support. What it's offering is a lightweight trainer. The rubber is good, though. The I'll rubber is good. Stuff. Yeah, yes. it is good. Okay, so I don't think it's an approach shoe. It should be. And you think it should be? Yes. Let us know below, guys. Like, there's comments. Uh, you've been wearing it for a while. Do you agree more with Teresa? Do you agree with more with me? Uh, Urban sneaker or actual approach shoe? <laughs> the choice is yours. Uh, we can pick it up. Uh, yeah, in the link below and comment below. <laughs> Teresa just wants to win now. Uh, Obvious. There you go. It's in the link below. Thank you for watching the gear show this week, and we will see you next, next week. week.